Mjolnir. In Norse mythology, it was the hammer of the thunder god, Thor, and the symbol of his power. It was forged by the best craftsmen, the dwarves, and it never failed Thor. How was it made? One day Loki, the trickster, cut off the golden hair of Sif, the wife of Thor. When Thor learned of this, he was enraged. He seized Loki and threatened to break every bone in his body. Loki pleaded with him to let him go to Svartalfheim, the home of the dwarves, to see if they could craft a new head of hair for Sif that would be even more beautiful than the original. Thor allowed this. Once there, he was able to obtain what he desired. He got a new head of hair for Sif and also Skidbladnir, which was the best of all ships that always had a favorable wind and can be folded up and put into someone's pocket, and Gungnir, the deadliest of all spears, which later belonged to Odin. He then went and taunted the dwarf brothers, Broker and Sindri, and he made them a wager. He said that he was sure the brothers couldn't forge three new creations equal to those the sons of Ivaldi had fashioned. He even bet his own head that they couldn't. Loki then transformed himself into a fly to bite the dwarves and prevent them from properly doing their work. But they still produced a hammer of unsurpassed quality, which never missed its mark and would boomerang back to its owner after being thrown. But it had one flaw, the handle on it was short. They called it Mjolnir, which means lightning. Loki went back to Asgard and gave Thor Sif's new hair and the hammer. But Loki now owed the dwarves his head, since he lost the wager. But he was cunning and told them that he promised them his head, not his neck. So they just sewed his mouth shut and returned to their forge. It was said that during a thunderstorm, it was actually Thor beating his hammer against an anvil.